So for today's trouble is all about our auxiliary blower and we have this abnormal alarm in our Aconis as well as into our MOP. four blowers on board and this number three is not working so that's what we are that's what we will be checking right now it's the wiring diagram and see from supply all the way to the load So what is the use of the auxiliary blowers? So the main purpose of the auxiliary blower is to provide positive charged air during the starting of engine and at low load running. It will also maintain the pressure of the scavenging air a little higher than the exhaust and the atmospheric pressure in order to drive out the exhaust gases. So now let's proceed to the troubleshooting. So the first thing that we are going to do is to check the supply voltage of the main circuit breaker all the way to the input of the 88 main contactor. So as you can see, we can confirm that there is no single facing onto our supply voltage from the main circuit breaker all the way to the input of the contactor 88. So now we can move to the next step which is to check the control system of our system. So let us check the F11 fuse and F12 fuse from the board. Please take note that we have a common manuals for all the auxiliary blowers. Since we are touching the auxiliary blower number 3, then the F11 will become F31 onto our main control panel. So the first number will be the auxiliary blower that we are opening. So now, let's measure the 440 volts input and output of our fuses. So the fuses are okay, so let's proceed now to the next step. After the fuses, we will now go to the transformer with the input of 440 volts and an output of 22 volts AC. As you can see, we have 440 volts input and a center tap of 220 volts and an output of 22 volts AC. After that, we will move to F13 and F14 which will be F33 and F34 fuses and then it will go to the rectifier. So checking the input and output of the fuses, we are getting a 22 volts AC. So that means fuses are okay and then let's check the rectifier input and output. So the rectifier will have an input of 22 volts and an output of 28 volts DC. So that's the input which is 22 volts and checking if it's really DC so we cannot measure so I lift it to DC voltage and we are getting 28 volts DC.
so moving farther to our troubleshooting then we will move to b1 and a1 line all the way to the next page so let's move to the starting and stopping controls of our system but before that we need to check the eocr if it is tripped or is in good condition So we can verify that the EOCR is in good condition. So let us check the K1.4 if it is okay or not. So the K1.4 is activated and it means that terminal 11 and 14 should be in closed position. So to analyze it further, terminal 11 and 14 is in closed and the local button is in closed position, the stop button is also in closed position, then we can jump into the terminal of the start button which is from the number 333 which will be appeared onto the start button. So we can measure from the cable 333 and to the 4-1 relay 321 cable if we're having 28 volts DC. So as you can see, we have a 28 volts DC voltage onto our terminals. So I've decided to switch off the unit and check the start button if it is really closing or not. And checking the start button, every time I press it, then I'm having a good continuity onto the start button. So that only means that our control system is in good condition and we just need to test now the 4-1 and the timer on delay which is set to 10 seconds if they will be activated once we press the start button. But after pressing the start button then the timer T1 is not actually activating hence we need to check the terminal 334 and 321 if we are having uh, 28 volts in which I have found out that we're having 28 volts DC every time we press the start button so the main function of the timer T1 is to actually give a 10 seconds on delay before the BFD will start so guys after investigation I found out that this timer a timer is defective so we're gonna replace it and change with a brand new one. This is the old one and this is the brand new one. We will install this. This one is not activating even if we have supply voltage and this one tries to activate itself but it's not pushing through. Now let's try to start it by local. So now it is activated, that is activated. And then counts up 10 seconds, that's the on delay. And the fan will now start. The VFD will give an output voltage and the fan will actually start. So checking the MOP, we don't have any more abnormal alarm and as well as into our Aconi system, the auxiliary blower indication is already on green light.